Well, we have all of the other track events. And so, Nicola McDermott, what a year for her. The Olympic silver medalist from Australia. Australia, two great high jumpers at the minute. McDermott, the best. Approach the bar from different sides. McDermott on the other side. Lazard Skinner this side, the Olympic champion. Yeah, Lassit Skene here, takes her opening effort at 186. Has had different winners, Lassit Skene, McDermott and Mahuchik. He goes Patterson, that's better. Now we move on, next inning four. Handle, just the end bits. It makes sense to come in and get a sort of sighting jump, a feel for the facility. So she and Lichvinko here came in at 184. This is the third jump for Lichvinko and unfortunately for the pole. He stamped down at that final takeoff stride to generate the vertical lift. That's the toughness of this event, convert this horizontal speed into vertical lift. You've got to make a effectively a 90 degree. Deputy, if you like, I've maintaining their position in this competition. So Garachenko, who herself, very capable. There you go. Less than a football pitcher, perhaps. Elena Patterson next to go then. Here she just needs to get over 190. Third and final opportunity for the Australian number two. Oh, no, way off it there. More so back with it. Sorry, go on. No, I was going to say it's more significant for some nations than for others, isn't it? You know, when you're not strong in an... 193. She's got a lovely... ...is beforehand, it's ingrained in her, and actually she doesn't even know when, how high she's going to jump, if you know what I mean. Um, I haven't got time to talk about it here, Tim, but a completely different approach to how they in competition on 93, the last we saw. Lazard Skinner and McDermott going clear. The, now, they're at 196. Ah, Mahuchik just gives it. Olympic silver medalist. Has beaten Lazard Skinner in recent weeks, and that's beautiful. Best, Steve, that 196. She's only cleared 198 this year. In fact, her lifetime best 199. She's not a member. So let's wrinkle. 196 certainly seemed as though she had the height came down on the bar on the second attempt what will she do this time no nowhere near this time no not as back to even so to speak in the next fight the three attempts each for Garashenko here looking to secure fourth spot at least and then if Lassit Skene feels her third attempt if she goes clear here we move it to third oh that's a big jump that's a lovely jump and that does move her into third of course Ahead of uh, they have now, they've been let down, she said, so many times by their federation. Words mean nothing was one of her two competitions. Is this to be another here? Third attempt, 196. Ah, oh, there you go, miles clear. Pushes the button. So, improvement there, 650. So, Mahuchik then. And that is the first attempt for her at 199. Tell you that Gerashenko jumped just before that and failed her first attempt at this height. Mahuchik maintains her perfect card. It's only her fourth jump and her fourth clearance. Jumping really well with such poise, as indeed is McDermott. Steve, can she maintain her clean card? It's funny, isn't it? We've got these really, these three women in particular, Garashenko joining in here tonight, but here's all the smiles and the outwardly uh, gregarious kind of character of McDermott. Lazard Skena at the other end of the scale. Mahuchik somewhere in the middle. You know, she can be very smiley, sometimes can wear her heart on sleeve as well in the terms of uh, getting a little bit frustrated. McDermott will always seem, certainly this year anyway, and that's why it has been a delight to watch and celebrate. Get back on even terms here, because even if she clears this first time, and these first time clearances are so important, she will stay in third place, where she currently sits, behind Mahuchik and McDermott, who share the lead. Kind of you know, what she got to gain from clearing this while she stays in the battle. And she does first time. So now we move into two metre plus territory, 201 the next height. And we're doing. Get onto the rostrum in this uh, Wanda Diamond League final of 2021. Oh, it was close. I think that was a better attempt than it looked. She gave the bar a heck of a clap. Certainly in the early stages of both long jumps, men and women. Mahuchik then. First attempt at 2.01. Oh, 
way over that. She knows it too. Gives it a little clip. I think it was with her heels. Let's have a look at it again. But I think she was way over that. Maintains her perfect card. Puts some pressure on the others. Doesn't matter really which part of her clip to the bar. There it is. Yes. I actually think she might have touched it with her elbow on the way up and then clipped it with her heels again. I think there was double contact there, but it is perfectly legit. It stays up. And the Hoochick has the lead and puts the pressure on the Australian McDermott. Okay, uh, the, um, getting rid of the commentator's curse is just going to so, say it. she sails over this. She's been in superb form tonight. Two metres one, Nicola McDermott, Olympic silver medalist. There you go. Somebody's going to go very, have to go very low. Come on, she says. It's just a lovely rhythm, Tim. You know, she comes in every time as the same, and then at the moment, everything looks so straightforward, so easy. It's like any top-class sports person when they, on the height of their game, can make it look so simple. She is as big as she looks, by the way. Travelled with her from Lausanne to <laughs> Paris on a train a couple of weeks back. She's about six foot three. Her uh, behaviour, her de demeanour between competitions is quite different to this fired up, energised, really electric young woman. You've that here is Mahu Chik then, this wonderful women's high jump final. The bar's now gone to two metres three. Ah, there you go. Another nice clearance for Mahu Chik. Well, we're talking a lot about McDermott and Lazard Skinner. She's quietly going about her business. The youngest of the three. Perhaps not quite as kind of rhythmic and athletic on our approach however has got springs in those legs hasn't she two meters three that equals her season's best and she has yet to have a this is her first time if she goes clear then mcdermott will pass her further attempts at 203 so there's no point in her clearing 203 in a second attempt it would she would be in third and she wouldn't improve even if she did go over it so lasset skinner then been here before, the best jumper in the field of, in personal bests. Ah, oh, yes. Up to second place, though. She won't be happy with that. And eases past McDermott, for whom everything was going so brilliantly until this last couple of minutes. And now the Australian, yep, yeah, it's confirmed she passes any further attempts at 2.03, of course. And the bar's at 2.05, and the... Uh, Diamond League record, Steve, is 2.06. The highest jump in the world this year is 2.04. By Lasit Skaney for that gold in Tokyo. This is uh, turning into something very special. Yeah, and I mean, to put that into context, Tim, you know, you get down to about number, what, nine or ten on the all-time list is 2.5. You know, Lasit Skaney herself has only jumped 2.6 in her whole career. So we are now with three women. Might have been what you'd expected, although Mahuchik, I'm sure, would have fancied the silver. She would have won the gold, of course. Anyway, second attempt, two minus five. Better, better. Look at Diamond League finals. It has been a meteoric season. Legs. 202. Her lifetime best was in the final in Tokyo. She knows she responds well to pressure. Bronze medalist in the Commonwealth Games in 2018. She's a very different caliber athlete now. Two or five. <laughs> she really went for that. Really believed it. Coming back to Mark and writing in her book, I can do this. I can clear two meters five. That was close, Tim. Best effort we've seen. There have been five failures, Steve, and that was by far the best. And I think you're right. I think she, the smile on her face, that wry smile as she was walking away, was because she she knew more than at any time yet that she's got that 205 jump in her and therefore bigger height still. And you know what? The world record is not... 25, that's her finish now. So Lazard Skinner with two attempts at 2 minutes 5. Mahuchik is still with one more attempt. So the Olympic champion, this is just one centimetre less than her all-time outdoor best, don't forget. Lazard Skinner. Ah, oh, there you go! 
The Olympic champion steps up two metres and five centimetres. Beating up and down. And did we ever doubt her? Three attempts to get over 196, Tim, and then seemed to just get that bit of aggression back, didn't she? Attacked the bar since then. And it took two attempts to get over two minutes five, but wow. What a great competition here. Absolutely. As you said, Steve, 204 for that Olympic gold. McDermott, 202 for the silver. This competition with a 205 jump already. And then two of them, two over 203 is a better standard than the Olympic final. If you look at just the uh, medal. Must be able to get up there and better 209 eventually. And I think that is the point that you're making there, that, that because of Lazard Skainer is around still and jumping very high, um, cords that it will count. So the official is making sure no mistakes on their behalf. One attempt only, two metres seven. 19-year-old Ukrainian. Yaroslava Mahuchik. Oh. Well, Lazar Skinner will take the win, and I'm sure she'll go and congratulate the youngster in a great night, a great performance from... You fancy 209? She looks less keen. It would be a great place to do it. I, you know, it's been a, a fabulous venue and a, a great amphitheatre created here. And the women have responded superbly well. McDermott. It'll go down as a 2-1 for her in third place, but I think we all know she was capable of higher tonight. Mahuchik cleared two metres three, but again, is set to go higher. There's McDermott congratulating the young Ukrainian in the tent. But the smiles come now, and uh, what a season what she's having. Back to winning ways after two consecutive defeats. I'm not sure how often that's happened in the last few years. And a well-deserved hug. So the Diamond League champion, there it is, Maria, I think Masha is what they call her, Maria Lazitskina, with a superb win. A great competition from the three Olympic medalists, but the gold medalist coming out on top here. Yeah, And she's enjoyed being in front of the crowd. She doesn't always look as though she does, but now she can enjoy the atmosphere that's been created here in this very special high jump arena. Two metres five, a world lead, higher than she jumped to win the Olympic title. Mahuchik, two metres three in second place, equaling her season's best. And Nicola McDermott of Australia, two metres one in third place.